Hello, this is Professor Mark Higdon. Uh, this video is for 341 and is part two of developing a knit pants sketch in Adobe Illustrator. And in this, I will show you how to add a ribbed waistband. So working with the sketch that we started so far, I'm going to take this top off of the waistband that I created before with the zigzag, and I'll show you how to do a ribbed waistband, which is a little better. So working with the line segment tool, I'll hover about the left-hand side of the waistband, and I'll left-click once, and that will give me a pop-up window where I can actually put in the length of the line that I want. And I will put it at a half an inch, and the angle is 90%. And I will do OK. Then I will select this. And if you want to open up View, Show Grid, um, and if you want to uncheck the image, you can actually move this off, and that will enable you to uh, work with the graph paper. Just make sure that you relock the first layer. So I'll use the graph paper here just to help line this. And I'll make a copy of this. So I'll, selecting the line, hold down the Option key, left click and drag over to the other waistband. Then I'll select with the selection tool both vertical lines. So I'll left click and drag a box around both vertical lines. And I'm going to use a new tool, which is the Blend tool, the W key on your keypad. Double click on the Blend tool and you will get a pop-up window. You want to change this to Specified Steps. And I'm going to put in 18 as the number. Then with the little cursor that's now turned into this box with a shadow, I can left click once on the left hand line, one click once on the right hand line, and it fills in 18 lines between the two. Just as a reminder, in order for this to work, you have to have both lines selected still. And double click on the blend tool. Make sure you've got specified steps. I have 18 as the number. And then I can left click once on the left hand line, one click once on the right hand line, and it fills in 18 lines between the two vertical lines. Then I will use the rectangle tool to put a box around it uh, to create the waistband. Make sure that you have a white fill. If you hit the D key on your keypad, that will automatically default to white fill and black stroke. And with the rectangle tool, I will drag a box around the, the uh, lines. Now, because this was drawn after the lines, it sits in front. So if I go to the Selection tool to select the box, use your mouse, do a right click and arrange, and send to the back. So that now has put the box behind the vertical lines. If I select both the lines and the box, do an object group, then I can move this down and put it on top of the waistband. Just like I did before with the direct selection tool, I can grab a corner and bring it in. And you can always adjust the vertical lines. So that it fits inside. Just the size and shape with the selection tool of the box, okay? And you can move it down to where you need it to be. So I can actually do that same method um, down below if I wanted to create it. Again, with the line segment tool, left click once on your workspace, 
half an inch, 90 degrees. So I have that now selected. Use the graph paper. Hold down the Option key or your Alt key on a PC to make a copy. Select both the lines with the Selection tool. Double-click on the Blend tool, which is the W key on your keypad. I'm going to change this from 18 to 10. Click OK. Left-click once on the left side, left-click once on the right side. And I can select that and deselect it. Come back to your Rectangle tool to make the box around it. Make sure you have a white fill and a black stroke which is the D key on your keypad. Left click and drag a box around the lines, then select it. Right click arrange and send to the back. You can adjust the box so that it's around your lines. With the selection tool, now select both the lines and the box. Come up to object and group and you can move it so that it's underneath the pant leg. You select both, hold down the Option key or the Alt key, left click and drag a copy over to the other side, and you have now added more of a ribbed waistband to the pant. If you select everything and group it, zoom out, Hold down the shift key when you grab the corner and you can reduce the size of it. Move it over to the left hand side. Hold down the option key or the alt key and I'll make a copy. Come back to layer one with the, the photograph on it, unlock it, and I can now reduce the size of this. Hold down the shift key to conform the proportion and I've now put the inspiration back on the page. You can move this off to the side. Using the Type tool, I can put my name at the top. And using the same Type tool, I can use uh, the Type tool again down below and say Inspiration Gap. And you can save the file. I always do a file save as. Save it to wherever you save your file so you can find it. Put your last name in the file name. Click Save. Make sure you check the include linked file so that your inspiration picture will be a part of the file. And click OK. And you're done. Thank you very much.